guys welcome back to data with dominic and in today's video we're going to we're going to look at a quick fabric tutorial on how to create shortcuts inside your lake houses uh, warehouses or kql databases uh, so um, as you know uh, with your fabric accounts uh, with your organization's fa fabric accounts you get this one lake um, cloud storage uh, um, uh, entity spun up which sort of acts as this one location or one sync for all your organization's data so within um, this one lake you can have many domains within your domains you can have many workspaces and within your many workspaces you can have different artifacts that are holding data but this is all tied together with a common one lake account linked to your organization's fabric uh, resource so uh, the great thing about one lake is that it allows you to have only one copy of the truth that is one single source of truth for any entity data entity and then you can have access to it um, from different artifacts within your fabric environment right so this uh, avoids the need for duplications and maintaining up the most up-to-date uh, records in different places um, uh, within your data platform so let's dive into the demo of how we can create shortcuts within our uh, fabric environment, right? So today we're gonna be looking at um, specifically internal shortcuts, which is within your one lake environment. And in the next video, we'll be looking at external, which is from uh, your Azure uh, data lake storage, ADLS Gen 2, and your Amazon S3 buckets. So as you can see here, we've got this lake house 2 opened and it doesn't have any data. So it's tables and file section is empty. But suppose just I had another lake house. Suppose I was working in marketing and then I needed some data that the finance team had access to. So I come over to their lake house. It might even be in a different workspace, which is not an issue. But suppose I came over to one of the finance lake houses and opened up that lake house. Oh, sorry. Got the wrong. Lake house one, right? So this is, say this is a finance lake house, right? And they had all sorts of files and other tables that maybe I might need access to at some point uh, for some use case that I have specifically being on the marketing team, right? So now I don't want to copy this whole data into uh, my own lake house and transfer all that data and use all that compute and then have the headache of um, keeping that data up to date or keeping the schema up to date in case of uh, changes uh, that the finance team makes and my and the use case that I had needs to track it closely. Um, so to avoid all that, we can use shortcuts, right? So what we do is we just come to this get data button in the top of our, our destination lake house and click new shortcut. Once we click new shortcut, we have three options. So internal sources are from anywhere in your Microsoft One Lake entity. An external is ADLS Gen 2 and Amazon S3. So I'll be looking at these two in the next video. But for now, we'll be looking at internal sources. So let's hit um, uh, one link. And here you have a, a video, of, I mean, you have a list of all your data artifacts. So as I've explained previously, you have mainly three data artifacts uh, which actually store the data in Fabric, which is your lake house, your warehouse, and your KQL DB. And you have access to the tables within all of these and you can move them around since they're all uh, not move them around you can have access to them uh, from each other since they're all based on this parquet storage format you have access to them from other entities from other um, artifacts so a table that i have in a warehouse i can use it in a lake house and so on but for now i'm just going to keep it simple and try and pull some tables and files which i have in our lake house one which we said might have been a finance lake house so I click on that lake house one and you can see I've got some tables and files. So what I might want to do is suppose I want this products table. Um, as of now, you can only choose one table, one, you can't do a multi select, but as of now, if I wanted this products table available to me within uh, my new lake house as part of the marketing department of my company, I can just hit that and click create. And then you see this table being created here. 
with a sort of like a paperclip symbol at the bottom, right? So it's a delta table with this paperclip symbol at the top. So that basically means it's a shortcut, right? And similarly for files, if I want to move some files from there, I can just hit new shortcut, Microsoft One Lake, go back to that same lake house I was talking about. There were some files there. Choose one of those files. This seems to be a small bug, but normally if you have it inside a subfolder, you can choose uh, some of these files and transfer them. For now, I'll just keep this table so I can transfer another table. Students, create. And this student um, has been brought over the Delta table, but it's been brought over as a file since I went through the file section um, and created a new shortcut there. So that's a little bit of how shortcuts work. Um, so now this same table, which we had in Lakehouse 1, we have a live connection to it from this Lakehouse 2, and we can use it as if it were present in this Lakehouse itself. But the only change is that, cha is that uh, changes made to it from your other Lakehouse will be instantly reflected here, since it's only stored in one location. And rather than um, uh, having access to it in that particular location, and then a copy of it here. This is just one single um, copy of this products table. And if any changes are made there, uh, they'll be reflected here immediately. Any changes here will be reflected there immediately as well. So uh, be wary of that as well. And yeah, that's a little bit of how our shortcuts work. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And we'll see you guys in the next one.